Good evening and welcome to the first ever Wiltshire for Business, Wiltshire Business Club uh, member interview and online meeting. The format is very straightforward. I'm going to talk to my guests for about a quarter of an hour and then uh, you can come in on camera and ask questions if you like. So welcome uh, Sarah and James. Um, Hi. <laughs> right. Okay. My first question is: I've looked at your website. Why did you? Where did the name Design Sheep come from? <laughs> Every single person that we talk to, that's always the first thing that they ask. Um, so I guess that's kind of good for a name that it's a talking point. But um, when I was at university, I was desperately trying to think of something to call my business, and everything I could think of. The domain names were already taken so I was sat staring out the window at a field full of alpacas and sheep outside and I didn't like design alpaca so I went for design sheep. <laughs> okay well that, that's, that's, that's fine as you say it's a recognizable name people will, will remember it which is uh, obviously the, the first starting place for any business to be memorable. Yeah. When, did you, when did you actually both start in business? Um, so I have been freelancing part-time for pretty much as long as I can remember. Um, I started at school, but um, I've been doing it full-time for about two years now. Um, and James joined Design Sheep at Christmas. Oh, yeah, cool. Christmas time. Okay, so new year, new setup. That was exactly the plan. Right, okay. Now, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the services that you provide? And can we start with the web design side of things? Yep, so um, I do the website of things. So um, we build mostly um, websites for small local businesses, mm -hmm. um, but also occasionally we work for people a bit further afield. Um, but mostly it's websites for people um, who have sort of service-based businesses um, or they sell things online as well. They can come and get a website that's bespoke to them, which means that we don't just build any old website and say, there you go, it's done, but we actually look into who their customers are, what they're looking for, what they would want to see on a website, which means that we end up building something that doesn't just sit on the internet, but it actually gets results, which is what people need. In, indeed, indeed. So what happens at the first meeting with the client? What sort of thing are you looking to do with them? Um, so in the first meeting, we sit down um, and we go through exactly what the business is that the person has. And if they've got a website now, we talk through what's working well, what isn't, why they want to change it, why they want to get a new one. Um, we also talk through about a little bit about their competitors to find out what they're doing and if there's anything you can learn from that. Um, and then we go through what sort of things they'd want on a website, what design things they like. Um, and from there, we get a detailed requirement specification, um, which leads on to the design. Brilliant. And, and roughly, how long does it take to design a website? It's a bit like how long is a piece of string, but it is. Yeah, it really does depend on on what you want. So it could be, you know, a landing page which takes a week, or a simple website that takes a month. Or I've put one live this week that actually took two years to build, but that's a very big website. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's that's a great range, isn't it? Uh, it is. Yeah. It depends on the complexity. I yeah. Mean, I, t I took uh, a look at the sites that you've done, and the one that particularly struck me was the doctor's website. Mm. Was that one that you enjoyed doing? Um, it was. So that was one I worked with another company for. So um, they did um, the design of the website and I built it. So they made it pretty and I made it work. <laughs> ah, right. OK. Yeah, because that, that's that's the thing, isn't it? A, a, a website has to be functional. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because the, the aim is not only to attract people, but that we I'm going to mention the dreaded email opt in uh, mm -hmm. is to get subscribers, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Your email list. Um, they're becoming more and more valuable and more people are realizing the potential of having an email list of dedicated subscribers and um, that's what I get asked quite a lot now is um, can you add opt-in forms to my website or how can I get more people to sign up on my website and things like that. Yeah and does promoting a website is that part of the service as well helping them uh, promote it? It's something that we've started to offer um, so we're doing more um, content marketing now in terms mm -hmm. of writing um, for other people's blogs, articles that help to promote their business and also we've started doing some Facebook and Twitter marketing as well for our clients. 
which is going well but it's a learning yeah. curve for us yeah. as well <laughs> yeah because it's it's, it's a, a static website is 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 where to start from isn't it you want to build out from there you want to get people responding to you uh when they're actually on the website um and to do that you've got to promote it on facebook and twitter uh, etc. Right, okay, that's a slight introduction to the first side of your business and the second side of the business, I presume. Video is yours, James. It is, that's my side, video production, yeah. So we offer corporate promotional and testimonial videos to small and medium-sized businesses. That's probably the best way of doing yeah. it. So that can range from something as simple as a three-hour shoot followed by a maybe two, three-hour edit to a whole week and then followed by however many months in the edit that uh, clients deem fit. <laughs> okay, so how do you get involved in video? Um, bizarrely, I went completely the wrong way about it. I went to drama school and trained to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And we had a film and TV guy uh, come in and do some stuff with us. And I got on so well with him, so much better than anyone else. And I started doing bits and bobs video of that and then I for the last two years I've worked for a chain of children's nurseries producing a online documentary series right. uh, charting the life in the nursery to, uh, day to day for for parents and viewers to have a look at which is unbearable on the knees I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but it's certainly an interesting uh, use of video because you, you're actually I mean, yeah, I, mean, I mean, from that job, I mean, it was it was not just a case of video production. It was a case of, of marketing. It was there were lots of other things that went on. There was uh, lots of photography, uh, magazine work and design. So it was a just from one little job. It was actually far bigger. And it led me to think, well, I'd quite like to do this outside as well. So. And, and the investment in, in equipment. Uh, that you've had to make you, you've got the best equipment that is available uh, I, I, I've got the equipment which is most ergonomically suited to me and that's hopefully the best answer that I can give right, okay, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm not staggering around with a 40,000 pound camera if I was anyone watching please I don't have a 40,000 pound camera <laughs> um, but I have I have I have equipment that is suitable for what I do. So because I do a mixture of video and photography, my equipment is straight down the middle between video and photography. So. Right, okay. Well, what shines through from both of you is so you really enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, we yeah. definitely yes. do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're kind of a little bit obsessed, aren't we? We, we? we enjoy it so much, we basically never stop. Yeah, that. yeah. Very our work us. is our hobby, <laughs> and our hobby is our life at home as well, so. Right. Okay, uh, now we have the opportunity tonight, thanks to the technical people at Blab, uh, to actually show one of your videos. Oh, now, scary. Okay, <laughs> looking, looking at your website, which would you like me to, uh, to drop in? I, I can use the promotional video for the wedding or the product walkthrough or content marketing or the old born doggy day. We can any of those You're just for a few minutes just for a minute or so just to give an idea about the niche events one yeah um let's go for the wedding one yeah let's go for the wedding one. one okay just a moment now if this works it will work well uh all right okay just bear with me a second <laughs> all uh, right <laughs> okay and i saw this earlier today uh, not this video uh, and we should in a second if all things are equal um, see the video if it's going to work okay let's give that a second I've got the I've got I've got the URL so uh, I can come back to that how do, how do people contact you? What's, what's the best way of contacting you both? Um, so you can either go to our website um, and click on the contact link and there's a form there to fill out. Um, or if you want to contact us directly, either email sarah at designsheep.co.uk or james at designsheep.co.uk um, and then we'll get back to you. Okay, excellent. 
That's the idea, anyway. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, we can talk over the video. The, the sound on the video is, is lower. Hopefully, you can see it. We can. We can see yeah. it, yeah. This, this, this is brilliant because before today, this would not have been possible because we've been showing the video in a square. But now on Blab, uh, for doing promotions, we can now bring across the actual video. And I'll keep quiet while the music plays. Unfortunately, I have no controls on the video, so uh, I, can't, I can't fast forward it or, or do anything. Um, I think it's nearly finished. Yeah, you've, you've <laughs> not got a lot left, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Do you want to explain a bit about the project yeah. and what you did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, the, this is a video for a local event, wedding events company called Niche Events, who offer um, wedding dressing um, and corporate they do corporate dressing as well. So they basically make your venue look nice. And the idea of the video was to show exactly what they can do for your wedding. And they offer three different um, styles for your wedding and how it will look. And this shoot was born out of the fact that they um, they hired out a place called Wellington Barn, which is in mm. Cairn. Okay. They hired that out for the whole day and had the whole day to dress the venue exactly how they wanted to. And so there was myself um, doing a video on the video forum and a photographer there called Joseph Darts, another Swindon photographer. And our job was to essentially make it look nice. Um, and well, we didn't really need to make it look nice because they made it look nice. The idea was to show off these three very distinct looks that the uh, company could put together for your wedding day. Right. It was a pretty hairy, hairy day, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really good fun, though. Yeah, but what, what, what comes through is the quality of the video itself. Um, oh, thank and you. the production behind it. I mean, it's, it's an art, isn't it? I mean, to take, a, to take video and to turn it into, into something like that, which is classic, to say the least. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. I, I can't be, I can't big myself up and party modest about it. But um, yeah, it's it, 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 it's taken nearly sort of seven or eight years to get to the point that I'm at now. So right. I mean, I'm glad it kind of shows through. People are, uh, people can appreciate appreciate the videos. Yeah, I I, I enjoyed watching them last night, and I recommend that anybody else uh, who's interested actually visits your site. And this is the time. But uh, we'll put a link in the bottom right hand corner where it says send message. And that's a link to the website where you can contact both uh, Sarah and James and talk about websites and uh, video. Uh, because videos is, is the way things are going. I mean, we're on Blab tonight talking, and this is live video. This is, this is 2016 is the year of video. It really is. Um, video is becoming more and more popular. I mean, you can say so much more in a one minute video than you could just in, in text. You know, it'd be a lot of text to say the same thing. And it's so visual. And um, YouTube is now the second biggest search engine after Google. So if you've got videos on there, then people yeah. can find you. Um, and again, you can put them on Facebook and Twitter and your social media sites. And it's just another way of advertising your business. Yeah. Um, it works really well for very visual companies as well, like wedding related companies, um, which is sort of the industry that we're trying to get into at the moment, working with wedding people. Um, if I can be a little bit promotional for a minute. Yeah, of course um, you can. Yes, <laughs> well, well, um, we're, we're currently offering half price videos to all wedding related companies in 25 miles of Swindon. Um, so if anyone's interested in that, you can go to designsheep.co.uk forward slash wedding um, and find out all about that. So that offer is running until the 15th of April. Yeah, so, it's 15th of April, so 
Prima over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the end, the end of this, we will have um, our own video. Uh, just excuse me a moment. Let's now uh this is only it, it's, this is our first ever interview uh together and it's the first time uh, this has been a wiltshire business club interview uh and now i want to just talk a little bit more generally what advice would you give to young people starting a business um oh, i think that number one thing i would say which is actually what several people said to me and i'm so glad i listened was that if you want to start your own business don't go straight into it out of uni actually go and get employed and work for a similar business for a few years first because you'll learn so much more not only in terms of furthering your own skills so for example web skills yeah. but also about how other people in the same industry run a business how client meetings go um scheduling just every single thing that you wouldn't necessarily pick up if it was just you with no experience trying to do it yourself so um i'm definitely glad that i worked in industry for three yeah. years before starting my own business and yeah, you've learned to make those mistakes in a safe <laughs> environment <laughs> yeah someone else's time i wasn't gonna say that yeah, I mean, you, you can't help but make mistakes. I mean, you can take all the advice you want from going all the courses you want, but sooner or later, it's, you, you're going to make some mistakes and you learn from them, don't you? Yeah, mm, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so what's the hardest thing been for you being in business? Um, probably the hardest thing, I think, is, is finding work. I mean, we're quite lucky from the web point of view where most of our new clients come from referrals from existing think, clients, yep, so that's really good. Yeah. Um, but with, with James just starting out, obviously we don't have that many video clients, so actually going out and, and finding new clients is something that we are finding quite difficult, but that's why we're starting to get into networking, sort of joining yeah. the Fortune Business Club and things. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly where networking comes in, uh, in terms of, as you as we both do, all do within the uh, World's Business Club Facebook group, is be active, be seen. Mm. And that's what it's about. It's, the, the, the thing is, you get to be known for a particular skill. So yeah. you don't have to shout out, I, I don't take this personally, but you don't have to shout out, I'm a web designer, I'm a video uh, maker. Um, no, no, not at all. You, you just you just need to join in on the conversations and, and and be a part of what's going on 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 different platforms. You know, you don't have to be you know holding up your CV to everyone, but you know you're you're just there and people get to know you as a person because you you buy a person, you don't buy their product. Indeed, and I hopefully I don't I don't know how this is going to work, but we can try it uh, and we'll see for people to know. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, we can give a link to your website, uh, but we can't actually show your website. So I'm going to so close. Go I'm going to close that for a moment. I'll put it back up later. And can we just watch uh, one of your other videos? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, so the product walkthrough or the uh, doggy day. Oh, I think the doggy day. Yeah. Yeah, okay. what's right. the doggy okay. day? I'm just bringing it up on. Hang on. Uh, just give me a second. We've got technical problems. All um, right. I just need to uh, copy the link. I can hear it, but you can't. Uh, I don't know. Um, and we'll go with this. I'm going to stop that and that. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Good. I haven't watched this in ages. I And what, uh, what was actually happening this day? Um, so, um, All Porn Doggy Day was a dog show that was put on for the very first time last year. Mm -hmm. um, and I 
first heard about them because I grew up in Baden, which is just a couple of miles away from Auburn, um, and saw they were putting on this event. And then they were using it to raise money for SN Dogs, which is a Swindon-based dog rescue that I volunteer for. Um, so I offered to build them a website um, to help promote the event because it was going to help, you know, to raise money for charity. So I built them a website and then James came along on the day to make a little video, which they then are using to promote it this year because they're running it again. Yep. Um, it was a really good day. It was really busy. It was just a shame that it rained all day. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was quite a lot of rain it on was, the day, unfortunately. So. makes filming difficult. It, it made it difficult to a point. Luckily, I had a GoPro on the day with waterproof housing. So okay. when yep. rain did start chucking it down, um, GoPro was fine. Um, so, for example, these couple of shots, which are just on now, um, were all completely on the GoPro because I couldn't use my main camera because it just would have been a wet mess at the end of it. But, um, yeah, I mean, the idea of the video was to to show the dogs. It was about dogs. And every time I've seen sort of like a charity event video, um, it's never about the event or the purpose of the event. It's always about... I don't know, people picking up a sandwich or something <laughs> like that, you know. Um, so I, I really wanted to show the dogs because everyone everyone watches dogs. You know, we, we all love dogs. Well, we have two right. terrors, but we love them. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, well, pets are an important, important part of your life, aren't they? And uh, that certainly looked uh, a wonderful day, and you captured it uh, perfectly. Right, okay. Now, we're going to... Uh, stop recording in a moment so if you'd like as you said earlier i mean w w we british are not good at promoting ourselves uh or no, not at all. Not you, at all. <laughs> you, both, you both done brilliant this night on your first outing on blub uh so thank you for being open and uh, ex you know exploring your own business with us and giving advice to uh, young people wanting to start in business so now's your chance to give your uh, what's it called um, uh, your speech, your um, sales pitch. Oh, sales pitch. <laughs> your oh. elevator pitch, yeah. I mean, if yeah. Roland was here, he'd be saying, Gee up, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so um, if you're a small or medium sized business, um, whether you're based in Wiltshire or not, if you're mm -hmm. looking to um, have a new website built or change something on a website you've already got, then please do get in touch and we'll see um, how we can help. Um, we'll have a meeting, we'll give you some good tea and biscuits, which always helps. We'll have a sit down mm -hmm. and a chat and um, hopefully we can work together. It'd be great to work with you. Um, and likewise, if you are in need of a video to promote your services or perhaps you've got a new product launching, um, video can be a great way to get the word out about it. So, again, just get in touch. Um, we're nice, approachable people, hopefully. Um, we won't we're fight. We're nice, approachable people. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. The, 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 the wonderful thing about this, James, is that once you get the uh, MP4, you can edit it. So, <laughs> oh, in, well, in the final version, uh, anything that you or I have said or Sarah has said, you've got total control over that. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. No problems on that score. And uh, James, do you want to pitch in? I mean, oh, Sarah, no, can, can, I, can I can I do better than <laughs> better, better than, than that? <laughs> well, okay. I, I think thinking... nice approachable people is a very good <laughs> selling point. Oh. All right, I, I'd, I'd say nice, approachable, talented people. Thank so, you. Thank uh, you. Right, okay. Thank you for everyone who's uh, been watching tonight. If you'd like to say thank you to everyone, and then we'll uh, we'll go off air, as it were. We'll stop recording. Okay. Um, so thank you, everyone. Yeah, for thank watching you very much. Our first Blab video. Thank you for having us as well. Um, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, if we other people nervous. are watching thinking about doing it in one of the other months, then do it. It's not scary. All oh, right. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm eternally grateful that you said yes straight away. I'll tell you a little story afterwards when we finish recording. Uh, okay. But for, okay. Everybody, for everybody who's joined us and everybody who watches the replay of this, because as soon as we finish, this will be a replay on Blab on the same link. So it can be used over and over, and there'll be a video which uh, we can purpose on YouTube, and uh, you've got the skills to edit, James. So 
Uh, thank you, everyone. Okay. And we're going to stop recording now. And that is uh, what do we say?